What we're going to show you today is actually a template that we've made that will allow you to accurately and very quickly cut holes for the pickups. If you're familiar with the MGB Guitars line of pickups, you know a lot of the different pickups that we have in our product line. We have our most popular $5 Make It Holler. We have a $750. We sell a lot of the very popular single coil pickups. We also carry some industry standard type pickups like the Tele, the Strap Blade pickup. We have lipsticks. We even have a new bass pickup in our line. And of course, my favorite is our box bucker. We have a box bucker in three and four string. We also have it in six string. But what you'll notice by looking at these is they're all different shapes and sizes. And for each one of these, you have to have a different size opening for the pickup to fit inside your box. That can be difficult, it can be hard to cut those holes, and it can be a little bit frustrating. We're trying to make it a little bit easier for you. We've created a template that used with a router will allow you to cut those holes quickly and accurately. Let's demonstrate this new product by making an opening for one of our 750s in this box. The first step we need to do is we need to put some painter's tape down the center of the box because we're going to mount everything based upon the center line of the box. We're going to mount the template on here and actually do the cutting. Before you do this, one of the things I want to caution you about is that you need to put a protective coating on these boxes before you actually put the blue tape because this is what can happen if you take the blue tape and you put it right on the label. Even the blue tape, when you pull it off, will actually remove some of the paper. So what I do on all of my boxes is I use Rust-Oleum's Crystal Clear Enamel Spray. Put a couple of good coats on it, wait a day or two for it to dry, and it's ready to go. What I find myself doing is when I find a really, really neat box that I really, really like, even if I'm not going to build right away, I go ahead and start to put some finish on it to build up a good finish. Giving it a few days, a few weeks, or even a few months will allow that finish to cure nice and hard. Now back to this box where we're going to actually put the opening. So what I've done is I've actually got the tape down the center. The next step is to mark a center line down the center of the box. For that, what I use is one of these center finding rulers. Very handy tool that you'll find you can use in a lot of different applications. It's basically a 24 inch ruler, zero to 24 on the lower half, but on the top half what you actually have is two 12 inch rulers and they start in the zero and count this way, they start at zero in the center and they count this way. And what that allows you to do is to take that zero centering ruler and you lay it on here and you can now find the center by just slowly adjusting from one side to the next side looking at it to make sure that you're about in the center. When you're in the center put a mark there to identify the center. Then we come down and we do the same operation at the other end again getting the same numbers on both sides making sure we have it centered up. We'll put a mark down here. Now you have two marks for the center and what we want to do is lay the ruler down and we actually mark a center line down the center of the box. This is very important and something I do on almost everything I build is I have a center line of the box because typically you want all your components to line up from the center outward or your neck to line up with this line. So that's a very helpful line. The next thing we need to do is we need to install or use the template. And again, this template happens to match up with the pickups that we showed you here. We have the $5, $7.50, single coil, Tele, Strat, Lipstick, our base, our box bucker, and our box bucker six string. So those are actually here and you can see we've identified each one. We've got the names of them abbreviated here so you can actually see this. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be cutting a 750. So what I have is I've identified roughly where I want to put my pickup and I have on this template, I have these half circle and those are line up with the very center of the template. And so what I need to do now is I need to secure this for the time being to this box. The way I do that is I use some clamps. Again, continuing to keep it in the center, to keep it lined up. And now that we have it secured, we actually can come back and kind of fine tune and make sure that we're lined up with the center of the box. And now we have the template 
in the center of the box, lined up perfectly, and we're ready to cut our opening. One of the things you can also look is you can look at the reveal on the side and make sure that you're consistent all the way down here, and you'll know that you're pretty much square with the box. So what we have to do now is we have the template placed, and now we actually have to cut the opening. We created these templates to work with a specific router bit. It actually says it on the template. You'll notice that we call out up in the upper left-hand corner the Freud 5098. That is a specific bit. That's a template bit. That's a router bit that's made to work with a template, much like what we're using here. Let me show you a little bit about this bit. It's a quarter inch shaft, so it'll fit most routers. The cutting bit is 5 16 in diameter, but then it also has a bearing that it actually works around the template and allows it to follow the template and then cut an opening. So this is a template bit. Again, it's the Freud 5098. You can find those online. I think on Amazon, they're about $25 to $30. Then what you need to do is you need to find a router. And this is the router that I use a lot in my shop. It's a Bosch Colt one horsepower router. And it works really good for this operation. It's small fairly small footprint so it's easy to move around the template not too heavy not too bulky and it works really well the first step in this process of cutting an opening routing an opening for a pickup in this case our 750 is actually to drill a hole so we can insert the bit and then turn on the router so what i have is i have a half inch bit in my drill and i'm going to come into the opening roughly in the center of the opening and i'm going to drill a hole So now I have an opening. One thing to keep in mind before you get ready to cut this, you need to set the height on the bit. What you want to do is because of the geometry of this bit, you want to have that bearing up inside the router pretty far, just showing a very, very small amount of the uh, bearing. So we've got it adjusted. And again, one thing I always tell people is practice, practice, practice. Don't start off with a perfect box or your best box. Work on some other boxes, some other scrap boxes, some scrap pieces of wood to give it a shot. So before we cut this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put on my ear protection and my eye protection. I have the router, going to insert it in the hole, got it in place, ready to move it, turn it on. Turn the router off. Let's take a look at the hole that we've made. First thing we need to do is we need to remove the template. And then we can take our pickup. Let's go ahead and remove the tape while we're at it. Okay, so now we have the opening that was cut specifically for this pickup. Let's see how the pickup fits. We have a nice fit. Now there's a little bit of wiggle room on all of these openings so that you can fine tune and you can adjust the pickup and make sure that you have it mounted correctly. Before you do that, what I usually like to do is wait till the strings are on, the neck is on, and I take a look at it and make sure that I'm happy with the location. And then one of the last steps is I secure the pickup. I hope you found this video to be informative and I think you're really going to like this template that we have because again, as I mentioned, what it allows you to do is quickly and accurately cut holes in your cigar boxes for any of the pickups that we sell in the MGB line. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to shoot us an email. We'll get right back to you. Thank you very much.